guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the first video for 2023 most of us have done our vision boards or set our goals for the upcoming year if you haven't done so already then it's not too late there's literally no deadline to when a person can put together um, a vision board or to set their goals for the upcoming year but in setting your goals and preparing for the upcoming year it's important that your goals and your vision align with the biblical um, truth of God in today's video I will be sharing basically four um, keys that I believe are essential in setting your goals and aligning with biblical scripture when it comes to setting your goals the first key that I drew from scripture is from James 4 13 to 15 and it reads as follows and now I have a word for you who brashly announced today at the latest tomorrow we are off to such and such a city for the year we are going to start a business and make lots of money you don't know the first thing about tomorrow you are nothing but a wisp of fog catching a brief bit of sun before disappearing instead make it a habit to say if the master wills it and we are still alive, we will do this and that. So yeah, from the scripture we just read, it's very evident that it's so important to ensure that our goals and our visions are in alignment with the word of God and with his will for our lives. It's so easy for us as humans to seek instant gratification or to seek worldly things, especially in the world that we live in today with social media and everyone just showing off their lives. It's easy to quickly want what someone else has or to want things that are not even good for us or things that God has not intended for us to have. So it's so important to spend time in the word, to spend time listening to God's voice and truly asking him, God, what is it that you want for me? What is it that you're trying to show me? What is it that you're trying to do with my life? And once we do that, we're able to sit in silence and to hear God speaking to us and God assuring us about the plans that he has for our lives. And in that way, when we do set our goals and when we do plan for our year, we plan in alignment with God and not to quickly um, be gratified based off of what someone else has. The second biblical key to um, goal setting is planning. Planning is so, so important if you want to achieve anything or to execute anything in your life. So I want to read a scripture from Luke 14 verse 28 and it reads as follows. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete? You cannot, you cannot expect to succeed in your goals if you do not plan properly. And one of the key um, recipes to planning is to ask yourself, where am I at the moment? Where am I going or what are my goals? And what exactly do I need to do to reach those goals? So for example, if you want to lose weight, you need to have a plan. You need to have a diet. You need to have some sort of plan when it comes to the exercises that you're going to do and so forth. When you have goals, when it comes to your finances, let's say, for example, you're like, by the end of this year, I want to have saved X amount of money. There's no way you can achieve this without planning. You need to have a budget. You need to save monthly. You need to, um, if possible, invest your money. So planning is so, so, so key in achieving your goals. One of the best characteristics that um, an ant has is its ability to plan. When it comes to ants, they will plan, guys. They will gather all the food that they need in the summertime to ensure that once winter comes, there's enough food to sustain themselves. So I think this is something that we can learn as well um, in, in our goal setting. Let's plan so that when times are tough, what we've done during the planning phase, during the good times, is able to sustain us even when things are not so great. The third biblical key to um, setting goals is to have faith. Proverbs 3, 6 encourages us to put our faith in the Lord. It reads as follows. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. 
Guys, we serve a sovereign God. We serve an almighty God. We serve an omnipresent God, an all-knowing God. So if we're going to do things or if we're going to plan for this new year, let us not rely on our own strengths. Let us not rely on our own might. Let us not rely on who society thinks we are or how successful we think we are. Instead, let us lean on God and have faith in him and trust that whatever we ask for in, in the name of Jesus is an, in accordance with his will will come to fruition, that God will bless us, that God will increase us, that God will give us our heart's desires in accordance with his will. And we cannot do it alone. We cannot do it in our own mind. We cannot do it in our own strength. We truly need to be surrendered to him and have faith that God can do it all. As the last um, biblical key that I want to share with you guys is perseverance. It is so, so important to persevere, guys, because Things are not always going to be easy and things are not always going to go your way. And the scripture I want to read is from Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 2. It reads as follows. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Perseverance is going to be so, so key to you reaching your goals this year. It's not going to be easy. So even on the days when you don't feel like it, even on the days when you don't have energy, even on the days where you're just so exhausted and you don't feel like pushing, even on the days when people let you down, you're just going to have to persevere to reach your goals. You're going to have to make up your mind to say, you know what? Things might be looking this way, but I'm choosing to keep my head up. I'm choosing to work towards my goals. I'm choosing to stand tall and ensure that at the end of this year, I can say I did my best.